this one. Now, uh, you must know these four conversions, and you must be able to use them. Yeah, torn millimeters, mercury are the same one, so that makes it easy. Yeah. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have something like uh, something simple, like 15, 20 uh, millimeters of mercury, and we want to convert that to kPa. So we're going to convert 15, 20 millimeters of mercury to kPa. All this is is really basic dimensional analysis that you've been doing for a long time. The only thing you have to remember are these conversions. So, all you do, you take your 15, 20. Now, by this point, you know, for a fact, the units go down there, right? So, yeah, so now what you plug in, you simply take whatever your stuff is over here and just plug them in for their respective units. So, millimeters of mercury, 760. KPA, 101.325. You notice it's not one. It's whatever your values are. You plug them in, you do the math, and you get some answer here. That's it. No, this is only one this is only like one step, one quick simple conversion step. It's never complicated so beyond this. No, this is just so we can do what we need to do. What is it? What, actually, what is Dina? What is it? 202.65. Right there. Can you see it, Nadine? Now, notice your units will cancel. You're left with KPA. Everything's good. That That's what you want to do. Is it always going to be those numbers? No. It'll be. I mean, let's do another one. Let's do. Uh, Let's do 3.6 atmospheres, and we're going to convert that to um, millimeters of mercury. Truthfully, you might never really see tor as a unit. I mean, millimeters of mercury is more common, but I guess, I guess tor is used a lot too, so never mind, I shouldn't say that. So all you do here, you convert 3.6 atmospheres. Now, in terms of whether you divide or multiply, you simply write your units out and that will tell you what to do. <coughs> now here are conversions. Millimeters of mercury is 760 and that is equal to one atmosphere according to our little, you know, our chart that we've got. So right there, that's where I'm getting this one from. I want you to understand that. So uh, what does that come out to be? What is it? 2,736. Okay. Notice your ATMs cancel again, and uh, that's all you got to do. So we'll do. Let's just do one more really quick. You do it. And I'll just tell you what it is, and then then we're gonna move on. So you. This is just one of those things you have to be able to do just without any issue. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm betting you can do these now. Uh, let's do this. Another possible conversion is this. Let's say you've got a, uh, you got 4,326 milliliters, and we need that in liters. Do, do that conversion really quick, okay? Or you could yell at the answer and make me mad. What? Well, yeah, I mean, just I, this is a, this is something a lot of you probably have no problem doing now. I hope. <laughs> and it's one of those things you'll have to do all the time. So what is it, Adib? Yeah. And this is something you will need to do because from now on, when you're given a value in milliliters, you got to convert it to liters. Uh, and you'll see why in a second.